Hi, I'm Kathleen Fisher and I'm involved in Rebuilding Portage and the group of us from Our Lady of Sorrows have organized and supported each other through this for the last several years. I was involved maybe for the, this is my fourth year, and again the involvement had to do with just hearing about it through people at church. It's a lot of word of mouth, a lot of great, you know, you've got to help us do this. This is a great uh, situation. We're giving back, we're doing good things for people. Oh yeah, good workers. Yeah. They know what they're doing. All the windows, and I didn't know I was going to get all of them, wow. but they said yes. So. <laughs> I'm Olivia Merrifield, and I'm working with Rebuilding Together Portage. And my name is Joel Bucco, and I've been with the program ever since it started in '98. Uh, I've been on the board of directors since then. I think uh, right around 300. 300. We've had like three, four hundred throughout the years. It's just out there trying to take care of the people that just can't do it. A lot of them don't even want to uh, uh, ask for help. They have a lot of pride, but uh, we're trying to get the word out. To, if you need it, we're there to help you. And uh, that's it. Everybody's out there to do some good. Pass it on. Can you? Um, I'm Kaylee Allen. This and is Jessica I'm, Lay. I, <laughs> I love I like it. it. I like, you know, seeing like the happy people. Like, I want to do it again. Yeah. A new shed floor that got ruined by the uh, flood in 2008. Okay. And then the storm door, the back one won't open, so that was 34 years old, so that's getting replaced. <laughs> Two years ago, they sent Great Lakes Granite an application to work to donate that day, so we decided to donate. And it was just something, after we did it the first time, we decided we wanted to be involved in. About four or five years ago, I was driving down Willow Creek, and I saw them there on a Saturday working, and I thought, well, that's really something that I would think that we should get involved in. But nobody ever contacted us, and I never pursued it. But when I got the application, it was like, I want to do this. So that was kind of cool, yeah. The homeowners, a lot of times act like they don't aren't deserving of this, which is so untrue. They're very deserving of it. And just to be able to help somebody and just, you know, by the luck of fate or whatever, this could be us. And I want to give while I can give. I'm getting assistance with my windows and my deck and with my yard work. Um, because I've become disabled in the last three years with the uh, deterioration of my back. And uh, I appreciate all of the help that I've been receiving here today. It's very overwhelming and it's great to see that these youngsters are actually, you know, applying and helping out other people. I'm Patrick Colin with HP Construction. And uh, we've been doing it Christmas in April. I think we're going on about 10 years. I was gone for a couple years, but we're back now. And uh, do a lot of work in Portage. Just want to give back. You know, everybody needs a hand every once in a while. Uh, Bob Hallman, I'm, uh, one of the owners of Green Tree Environmental Services in Portage, Indiana. We get involved in a lot of community projects. We do work uh, actually within a free state area. Uh, the, the good thing is you, you take out of a community, you have to give back. It's, something we've believed in forever. We get involved in day of carry in different communities um, in the summer months. Um, people come and ask us. We're lend a helping hand to help. Um, if we have an opportunity to give back to the community, we'll, we'll sign up volunteers from within the company and, and get it done.